Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Curt D6 A8 vise, just like the one seen here. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is to come on up to File, and let's go ahead and start a new design. I'm going to go ahead and open up my data panel here. All right, and you notice we have all of our vise parts saved over here in our data panel. And these parts are available to download in the comments section. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do when you do an assembly is go ahead and save the file. And we're going to call this just vice assembly. Go ahead and select save. The next thing we want to do is to go ahead and bring in the vice base. So I'm going to right click and let's go ahead and insert into current design. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my part over 90 degrees. Go ahead and select OK. I'm going to click right here and on this guy I'm going to right click where it says D6A8 and I'm going to ground it so it doesn't move. Okay, So this part is grounded. If you notice if you try to move it, it will not move. The next part I want to bring in is my fixed jaw part here. So I'm going to right click. Let's go ahead and insert into current design. And when I bring the parts in I sort of want them arranged in a manner so it looks like they're going to fall into place. So I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees, move it down and over a little bit here, and then forward, and then I'm going to go ahead and select OK. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and I'm going to use a shift and press my mouse wheel now to sort of move things around. And if you notice these two holes here, well, they line up with two holes on the bottom portion of this part here. So we're going to use that to assemble it. So when you assemble things, you got to remember um, what parts sort of come together and match up with one another. So I'm going to go to Assemble. I'm going to go to Joint. And I'm going to select Rigid Joint. Okay, And I know that, like I said, this hole right here. So I'm going to go to select and this circle right here, I'm going to click it. I know it matches up or corresponds with this circle right here in this center point. Not this cylinder, but this circle right here. Click and it's going to fall into place. Go ahead and select OK. So we have the fixed jaw in place. Now let's go ahead and insert our two socket head hex bolts here. That's going to basically bolt this thing down into those two holes that we just saw earlier. So I'm going to right click insert into current design. And once again, I'm going to sort of rotate it around so that it looks like it's going to fall into place here. Select OK. All right, and now we know where these bolts go into these two holes. So I'm going to go to Assemble again and select Joint. And by default, my rigid joint shows up because it's the same joint I used last time. And I know that I want this circle right here matches up with that circle right there. Okay. And then select okay. All right. So now let's repeat this process for the other bolt here. I'm going to right click another bolt insert into current design. Once again, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Actually, so it's something like that. Let's go down. Select OK. OK, and like I said, I'm holding down Shift my mouse wheel to, so, to sort of uh, orbit my parts here. And I don't recommend using the constrained orbit. I recommend using the free orbit. OK, so I'm going to go to Assemble and Joint again. And I'm going to zoom in. And I want to select that circle. Corresponds with... that circle and select OK. Okay, so our 
fixed jaw piece is now bolted in. So now we're going to actually go ahead and insert our jaw plate now into our assembly. So I'm going to right click insert into current design. And like I said before, I like to sort of arrange it so that it's looks like it's going to fall right into place. So something like that. Okay. I'm going to move it out just a little bit more to give me a little bit of room to work with. Select OK. We're going to use another rigid joint. So come on up to Assemble, Select Joint. And by default, it'll select Rigid Joint. And I know that this hole right here corresponds with, I'm going to use Shift and hold down my mouse wheel and rotate my mouse. And I know it corresponds with that hole. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. All right, so now we need to bolt our jaw plate, okay, to our other part here. So let's go ahead and do that. We need these two small hex bolts. So I'm going to right click insert into current design. And I'm going to sort of just turn them that way, move it up. and forward, go ahead and select OK, come to assemble, select joint, OK, and I know that this circle right there corresponds with that circle right there and select OK. OK, so we got one bolt in, let's go ahead and repeat this process for the other one. Right click, insert into current design, Select OK when you got it in a good position. Assemble, joint. Hold down Shift in your mouse wheel and move your mouse around so you can get a good view here and select there and then select OK. OK. And we're looking pretty good. We got both bolts in now. And our fixed jaw piece is now in place. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start assembling the movable portion of our vise or the movable jaws. So I'm going to go ahead and right click insert into current design. And I'm going to kind of rotate it in a manner so that it's something like this. Okay, and we're going to kind of do a sub assembly off of the side here. So I want my parts kind of up and above over to the side here, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click uh, and I'm going to insert my vice lead screw nut into the current design. I'm going to rotate it like that and like I said I'm going to move everything sort of over to the side here and we're going to do sort of a sub assembly. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and select OK and now this part is kind of unique. You see this angled edge right here? It sort of fits in here. So we're going to come on up to assemble, select joint, and do our rigid joint again. And I'm going to zoom in. You see this center point right here? It matches up for the most part with not that one, but that one. Okay, and we're going to offset it here. A little bit because if you look at that we have some part interferences so our parts are sort of um, colliding with one another so we don't want that we're going to offset it here a distance of 0.2 and select OK now let's go put our movable jaw plate onto our vise so let's go ahead and insert into current design And I'm going to kind of flip it over here so it's something like that. Move it into place so something like that. Select OK. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble it. I know that this hole right here corresponds with this hole right here. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and add our two bolts that we added earlier again on this movable jaw portion I'm 
I'm just going to kind of move it closer to my movable portion. Select OK. And you probably guess we're going to do a rigid joint again. So I'm going to select that circle. Corresponds with that circle. Select OK. And let's repeat this process for the other bolt here. Something like that looks pretty good. Another rigid joint. That circle corresponds or should match up with this guy. Select OK. OK. And it looks pretty good. We have sort of our movable portion subassembly over here. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to go ahead now and insert our vice lead screw. So I'm going to right click, insert into current design. And it looks like it's in a pretty good location already. I'm just going to move it up slightly here and select OK. And this time we're going to want to use not a rigid joint, but it's, it's called a revolute joint. OK. So if you're here in motion, make sure you select Revolute. Come back over here. Now we know this circle right here on our lead screw corresponds with that circle right there. Okay. And select OK. And if you notice with that revolute joint, we have a degree of freedom that lets it rotate. Okay. All right, so the next thing we want to do now is to create what's known as a rigid group. And a rigid group will allow us to move this entire unit as one piece. So let's come on up to assemble. We're going to select rigid group, select capture position. And we're going to go ahead and select on all of the parts over here on our sort of subassembly, our bolts. Okay. Our jaw here, select yes. Our jaw and jaw plate, and then our lead screw nut. Okay. So once you have all of those selected, go ahead and select OK. All right. And now we can go ahead and add a joint for this entire unit. So come on up to assemble. We're going to select joint. And in this case, we're going to select motion, okay, and we're going to select slider this time, not a revolute, but a slider, okay. Let's come back to position, and okay, this thing's going to slide up and down our vise here, and I know that this little bottom corner right here, corresponds with well, this little bottom corner right over here. Okay, and you're, we don't want that direction, so we come back over to motion and we change it to X. And that looks much better, so go ahead and select OK. All right, so now that we've got our slider joint in place, we want to add some limits. We want to tell it how far to slide back and forth. So to do that, come on up to joints. Come on down to your slider. You can click here or you can right click, edit joint limits. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of move it forward to a location I think it kind of looks like where I want it. That looks pretty good. So let's try 8.3, maybe 8. Point, that looks, let's just try 8.24. Looks pretty good. Select OK. And now we can test it out. It goes there, it stops right there. We probably could have gone a little farther, but that's pretty good and then it stops there. Okay, so there's our slider joint. All right, so now comes the fun part. Now we want to apply what's called a motion link. So come on up to assemble and come on down to motion link and select motion link. So go ahead and select capture position. And now we got to basically link two of our joints together. Okay, this will make our vise move in a realistic manner. So let's go ahead and select our slider joint. 
and, and select one more here, our revolute joint. And now you notice that our, as we turn our lead screw here, as it rotates, it moves our vise back and forth, which is what we want. So go ahead and select OK. And you can actually do this with your mouse. So if you turn your, if you can get it to go clockwise, okay, I'm going to rotate this around here. If you rotate your lead screw in a clockwise manner, you can actually move your vise and close it here, okay, or you can do it this way as well. All right, when you're all finished, if you don't want to see all the joints that you applied, you can come over here and turn off the visibility of them and they'll all magically disappear. All right, don't forget to save your work when you're finished. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.